The environment. Your environment is your biggest asset. It's your biggest asset. I know many of you are in love with it just because you're in love with the land yourself. But it is your biggest asset. And to have a mind come in, this is not the mind that mama and dad used to work and grandpappy worked at. This is a much more dangerous mind. This is a much more dangerous mind, and this is a mind that could seriously hurt the water supply, contaminate the lake, and become a moonscape. And how can you stop economic growth that's not going to benefit the environment? This is Eagle Rock. I went out there today. You have a beautiful environment here. You have a place that's worth saving. You have a place that has huge potential for green development. In Niagara Falls, New York, this, the fathers of the city try to, and I see that here, try to build the economy on a parallel path. One was tourism. Niagara Falls, as you have the mighty Niagara Falls, it's one of the seven wonders of the world. It's absolutely breathtaking. You have Gold Island, you have just gorgeous stuff, you have the gorge there. So, so one was tourism and attracting tourists to the, to the area. The second path that they were running was an industrial path. That was a chemical industry. And, and part of the Manhattan Project was also done there, but primarily the chemical industry. So you had dozens upon dozens upon dozens of chemical plants. So you're trying to build this economy on these two paths. Well, unfortunately, these are two <clears throat> incompatible paths. Because when the tourists are standing by the river, and the river, the fish are floating on the top of the Niagara River, it doesn't make for good tourism. When you're standing there and smelling chemicals from the chemical plant, it does not make for good tourism. And in this area, you have such potential for tourism. And if you were to open X amount of businesses that employed Y amount of people, small numbers, small businesses, you could not only have a sustainable green environment in the future for the Upper Peninsula, but you also could employ an awful lot of people. And if one business went out of business, the whole area doesn't become economically depressed. And that was the mistake that Niagara Falls made. They thought they could run both. And what happened is now when you go to Niagara Falls, on the American side, there's nobody there. If you go on the Canadian side, it's a bustling. It's, there's restaurants, there's tourist traps. But the American side has nothing, nothing. Now they invited a casino in, because what else are you going to do? So now downtown Niagara Falls is this huge casino where everybody gambles. They stay in the casino and then they leave and go home. Nobody stays in downtown Niagara Falls. You have an opportunity here to think about what is the economic growth and development you want in the UP, and how can you do it? So people should think about what can you do, how can you do it, how can you advance the economic development in this area? How can you do it so it's beneficial, so that little Cody and the other young children have something here when they want to come up and go hiking, or if they want to come to their cabin for the summer? It's so important. The mistake was made in Niagara Falls. The same mistake was made in Cleveland, Ohio. The same mistake was made in a number of cities. Detroit, just look at them. They're all industrial cities, not sustainable industrial cities. There are now poverty cities, drugs, crime, destruction. It's not what you want to do here. You have such an opportunity. You have such a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful place. You really need to think about how to do it. CHEJ would be happy to come out and help you. That's the organization I work with. Let's close with a song again. The river is flowing, flowing, flowing. The river is flowing down to the sea. Mother, carry me where I long to be. Mother, carry me down to the sea.
Sim. 